Lisa was pretty when she was little. What yeah, that's pretty. That was her funeral um, program. Let me see. You never saw it. You was a like one, maybe. Even though Steffi and I grew up in high school together, we lost touch before Lisa died. I'm so glad we reconnected. When that time period had come about, there was no way I could really get in touch with you the way I wanted to get in touch with you. Mm -hmm. And that tore me up. And I was so happy when you and I reconnected. Don't cry. You're going to make me cry. I can't cry two days. <laughs> I know. I'm I sorry. Know. It's OK. They did a really good job, like, capturing, like, her life and stuff. Look at her as a kid. Ten years ago, everything changed. Best-selling girl group of all time, selling albums, selling out arenas. Everything's gravy. Then Lisa left that Lopez passes away. My whole world crumbled. I can't describe the chemistry that we both had and all three of us had. Have we ever had arguments? You did all right. Just like sisters, have you and your sister have an argument? Yes, you have. That's real. And we have something real. And that's what I love about her. Did I ever tell you I have No. I had the weirdest premonition the day that Lisa died. I was in Atlanta, she was in Honduras. At the very moment around the same time that she passed, I felt like I was gonna get in a car wreck. I remember telling my security at the time, because I'm in this Porsche and I think, you know, something's gonna happen, I might get in a wreck. I feel like somebody's gonna hit me, but if I'm in my Hummer, it's like a tank. Mm -hmm. And I was like, they can't hurt me. I was like, but in this Porsche, I could die. And I took all this time to drive all the way back on the other side of town because it was just so strong. I just remember not knowing what really happened. There's just, she was in a car wreck. So eight people in the car, everybody made it except for her. And that day was the end of TLC as we knew it.